about um, folks like myself and my viewers who want to go completely plant-based? Yeah. Do you think it can be done if you still get your calories from starches? Um, do you think it can be done properly without any meat or dairy in the you, diet? Adding meat and dairy adds nothing that you can't get better from plants except for B12. Yep. Which is, which is the only discussion you need to have. You can't miss. The foods were designed complete. People yeah. can live on potatoes and water alone. Yeah. They've done it for periods of time as long as a year and a half and published in the scientific literature. I mean, you know, basically all their calories came from potatoes, or you can do it with sweet potatoes. Uh, the foods are complete. When it comes to underground storage organs, which are your roots and bulbs and corms like potatoes and sweet potatoes, they have all the vitamins and minerals that you would possibly need. Above ground storage organs, where they store energy, carbohydrate, are called seeds. Uh, they are legumes and grains, uh, beans, peas, lentils, rice, corn, wheat, those kinds of things. Above ground storage organs, you have to add a source of A and C. And so if you have a, you know, a slice of orange or a flower out of broccoli a day with your rice, you'll get right. all, everything you need except B12 which is a subject where you, that you might or might not want to get into. It doesn't make any difference. It's probably not worth the trouble discussing. But I yep. just add a little bit of uh, B12 to the diet as a supplement, and that takes care of everything. So in answer to your question, let, let's, let me go into it more specifically. Sure. Uh, what has happened in industry, all industry, uh, is they use a marketing tool called unique positioning. Okay. Unique positioning, what a company does, uh, say, say an automobile company these days, what they'll do is they'll tell you, our car gets 52 miles per gallon, so you ought to buy it. You know, it's really a cool car. And, but they don't tell you that a car built that lightly, if you get in an auto accident, you're likely to be killed. They don't advertise that part of their product. It's the same thing with uh, the food industry. What they do is they advertise something that's specific about their product. It's called unique positioning. And so, for example, what unique position has done over the last uh, 60, 80 years is it has caused people to reflexly answer these questions. When I say calcium, you say dairy. <laughs> when I say protein, you say meat. And when I say omega-3 fat, you say fish. Okay. <laughs> That's unique positioning. Even though... Yeah. There is no such thing. You cannot find me any cases of protein, calcium, or omega-3 fatty acid deficiency in the world literature yeah. of any people or population that's lived on any reasonable natural diet. And that includes a pure vegan, starch-based diet. There is no such thing as protein, calcium, or omega-3 fatty acid deficiency. No such thing. And yet, uh, major food industries are built upon unique positioning, which are advertising nutrients that they have a lot of in their product. There's no denying that, but are unnecessary. In fact, yeah. when you buy those particular products, you take in things that have been proven beyond anybody's doubt to kill you, to make you sick and fat. There's no question that meat, dairy, and eggs will give you heart attacks and strokes and type 2 diabetes and cancer. There's the literature, I could fill a huge library spanning many city blocks with the science that shows that. But you can't find me any papers, any research, any studies that show protein, calcium, or omega-3 fatty acid deficiency based on any natural diet, including a starch-based diet with no animal foods, no fish, no meat, no eggs, nothing. You cannot find me a, si a single study. So it's one of the biggest lies that, lies that has ever been uh, perpetrated on the medical doctors, the scientific community, and the public, and somehow, s somehow nobody has the interest to stand up and to say what I just told you, is yeah. there is no such thing as deficiency diseases from the lack of these nutrients by not getting meat, dairy, and fish. Yeah, that's amazing. We really have to do something about it and get it out there to the general public. Well, I need your help. Yeah, <laughs> I've, I've, I've been beating the drums for uh, almost 38 years now, and I'm not tired. Don't, don't you think that? I'm not tired. Uh, I'm going to be out there for the next 20 years, but I can't do this alone. Yeah. You know, other dietitians and uh, doctors and interested public, you know, when people tell you things like, don't eat rice, it turns to sugar, makes you fat, get in their face. Yeah. Or if you don't get in their face, that's not your style, 
just stand back and, you know, kind of flex your muscles and, you know, <laughs> expose some of your body parts and say, hey, look what it does to me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Working for me, whatever you want. Working for me. I live on starch. Look at me. And look at you. 